Hey guys, Dustin here, and today I have the Trigicon SRO. That's right, the Specialized Reflex Optic. Now, I love my red dots. I've had this RMR, I'm <laughs> going for the mechanic charging handle. I've had this RMR, you can tell by the beats and bruises on it for years, and it's done well. I've carried the Walther PPS with the shield. It gets kind of scratched up, but yeah, it's whatever. It's I love the red dots because it gives you that precision and also speed on follow-up shots. However, once I got this SRO in front of me, I was like, oh my gosh, the window is so much bigger than this RMR. In fact, on my Glock 19, once I saw it, I actually switched out my sights because I realized how much the sights actually blocked off the RMR. Because once you put a co-witness on, you really want like a co-witness or something. Anyway, if you're familiar with the RMR, you know they're ruggedized because that's the whole word for it. But then this SRO is just, it's huge. That's the main thing. When I looked at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is huge. I love it. Now, when I saw the commercial by Trijicon, okay, it was kind of, uh, they're like, oh, it's impossible to not see the dot. Well, it, it, it's still possible to not see the dot. It's not magical. You still have to have it in front of you, so I'm clarifying that advertising up right now. But the window being as huge as it is makes it incredibly more easy to find that red dot in there. Now, one of the other uh, big advantages is Okay, when my RMR battery dies, got to take the whole thing off and, and switch it out. These uh, batteries on the SR are rated for three years, but they do recommend that you, you change it out every year. And I realized that as well, because even with my shield, I had to change it out in like, uh, less than six months, but I'm outside all the time and with that auto um, You know automatically Illuminated reticle if you're outside a lot It's gonna shine a lot and it's gonna die faster Anyway, the battery port is on top so you can change it out without removing your sight Which is good because if you've put thread lock or some other stuff and strip these screws out It can be very difficult to take these off it, it, with the SRO, you won't have that issue. And then it also has lockout features that I love. Now, this is the 2.5 MOA. That is what I found in stock. They're hard to find right now. I got mine from Big Daddy Unlimited, and it was cheaper than I can even tell you because they sell stuff below the retail value. So if you're a frequent buyer, you need to go to BigDaddyUnlimited.com slash Dustin, and you can sign up. It's like a it, it's a membership site, so you're paying a dollar for the first month to try it, and then it's $10 a month after that. But if you buy something that's like once a month, that $10 a month is worth it, and they had them in stock for cheaper than anywhere else, so check that out. But the, uh, the 2.5 MOA, I like that for the precision, and then to make it even more precise, what I like to do is bump it down. So you have a negative on this side and the positive on this side to increase or decrease the, the brightness, and but it's also automatic. So if you just double tap them, it's going to stay on, on automatic and then match your ambient light. So it's always perfect to, to shoot and you don't have to worry about it blooming out or where is it when you get into bright light. But then you can also have more control. Or in the RMR, you have the same automatic features. But say you're riding in the car and this squishes up against your rig and your inner holster gets hit and all that, it can turn the sight down, at least on this type one, that's for sure. And so you can come up and, you, and you, you were leaning on it and now it's off or something. The SRO has lockout features. So by holding the buttons, whether it's on or off, you read the owner's manual, figure that out. But you hold them down and then you can lock it into automatic mode or say, I want it in this mode you can lock it into this this setting to always have that uh, that setting all the time. If you don't have it on lockout mode in 16 and a half hours, it'll go back back to automatic. So, I like sights that you don't have to think about, that you don't have to uh, remember to turn on and all that. And like I said, the window is huge. I don't know how much it will um, be. I don't think it's going to be as rugged as the RMR because you have that beefy material up there that allows it to be beat the mess out of and not hurt. I am not going to torture touch it because, because I like it too much and I don't want to hurt it. But if you're a competition shooter, open shooter, um, a, a duty pistol, perhaps, if you're easy on it. I don't see this becoming a thing for concealed carry, though, because it's too big. But 
you know, prove me wrong. You know, if someone has it on their subcompact, I'm going to laugh and say, oh, that's awesome. And then I'm going to have to do that too. So today, what well, we also have, uh, a buddy of mine uh, sent me these aim cam glasses. I wasn't wearing them until now because it looks like I have bugs on my forehead. But it will allow you guys to kind of see what I'm seeing. Because I'm going to put it where I can barely see. Because that is a tiny camera right there. And it's really cool because it vibrates to tell you when it's running and, and all that. And if there's air, it's kind of neat. Anyway, we're going to go shut up and shoot and see what this the guy does. Oh, I got to pick my head up just a touch. Sweet. That's the wrong mag. That's the right one. Wait, hopefully you can kind of see how it tracks. We're gonna see if we can put that in tandem with my um, RMR on this. <laughs> it's just, I, I do a duck down when I shoot and that camera gets right in front of my uh, the reticle, but hopefully it gives us good footage. Here we go, gotta pick my head up. I could already see a difference though, because even though I'm used to shooting this gun more than that one, I, uh, the dot actually traced out of my vision for a time or two when I first shot. So that bigger window really does help. I really do like it. Just in case that aim cam doesn't come out in the resolution I like, we'll, we'll, we'll show you some of this with me just hugging the camera. And I wanted to start off with that golf ball there. And this is a perfect uh, example of when you have to hit your adjustments because through the camera, I couldn't see the dot when it's on that bright golf ball. But let's see what we got here. I don't know how zero this is. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's, let's shoot some more. Where are we? There we are. Where are we there? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Oh, that one's... Oh, there's over there now. It's hard to tell through the camera lens. There it is. There you go. Nice. Sweet. All right, now we're, let's, let's show you how that would look at the old school RMR. Yeah, there is a little bit of lens shift there, but that really looks cool through the camera. All right, old school RMR. The window's so small. I'm gonna need to bump that up too. Where is it? There it is. I'll bump it up to about there so the camera and all sees. Gosh, this is weird. I really like the SRO better. All right, there you go. It's like, okay, now you know what you're buying right, don't you? Just by looking at that. That is too cool. And just to prove, I, no, I am not a Trijicon fanboy. I wanted to love, just, just this is just a, just a tip. On, I wanted to love this MRO. I was like, oh, aim point type MRO, you know, aim point style with a good, you know, lower price point. I can't stand it because it's gonna be hard to show, but okay, watch where that 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 uh, silhouette target is. See how it moves? Okay, yes, you can totally tell the image shift. And that's what you get with the MRO. You get an image shift because this lens is has to be this lens here has to be slanted. That's just how the dot works. It reflects onto that. And because of that slant, you can totally see an image shift and it drives my eyes crazy because you know you shoot with both eyes open like you're supposed to and this shift i can't tell which image the dot is on because uh i guess just the strength of my dominancy even though i'm very strong right-eyed uh, maybe i use my left eye some as well but it, it drives me batty so don't buy the mro until you get one and test it out i mean until you can test one out at a shop or something <laughs> All right, so that is the SRO today, guys, and I love it, and I don't see why you won't either. Uh, RMR still has a great place on duty guns and more compact carry guns, but 
there's no reason not to upgrade to this, especially if you're a competition guy, get that wild field of view. And this is something that we, we actually don't even use a red dot on our uh, pistols like the Volkortz and Scorpion at Marksman Camps because it's hard to acquire. You know, you, you give a newbie the, uh, something with a red dot and they just point up like this because they're not looking down and they're looking for that front sight and all that. This window will alleviate some of that. So, a good stuff there. And remember, BigDaddyUnlimited.com slash Dustin. They had the best price and had them on stock. And shout out to Angel Fire Ammo for helping us out with the ammo for today's video. And y'all make sure you subscribe, ring the bell and all that stuff. I'll see you later. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Can you see it? You see it? You see it? He's dead. Cry me a river. Ooh!